All right, hopefully I don't get my big meat paws in here in the way, but this is, we're gonna start out in the throttle position sensor, potent, 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 key on, key is on right now. We're testing sensor ground. And as you can see, we got no voltage on sensor ground. That's a good thing. That's what we want to see. Sometimes getting the, your needle in there can be a challenge. Make sure you're careful doing this. I don't have a good connection. I don't have a good connection. Well, I'm honestly having trouble seeing it. It's not good. There we go. Should, anyhow. Oh. That's interesting. Well, that was interesting. I didn't have anything in my 5 volt reference until I moved the throttle and then I got 5 volts. At any rate, let me do that again, make sure we don't have something funky going on. Why is it moving on me? That's weird. Well, that's some, that's a gray wire, that is 5 volt. Yeah, gray wire is your 5 volt reference. I don't have a good connection here. Something, something that keeps changing. Why does it do that? It's weird. I don't like that. By the way, I know my throttle position sensor works just fine. At any rate, your 5 volt ref gray wire, you should see 5 volts. It really shouldn't drop out or move. I'm not sure why mine's doing that. I think I got a connection issue here. Um, I'm not sure why. It's not the back probe. Is it my ground, maybe? I'm hooked right to jumper wire, right to battery negative. This is why I don't like cheap meters. They just, they're not durable, they don't last, they don't work well. They work, you just gotta, that's why I have a couple of them around. I don't trust them. Unless I got a loose pin fit issue here. It's possible. At any rate, you should see a steady 5 there. Um, I'm going to move to the signal wire. Hopefully it is working okay. I don't like what we got so far. But long story short, shouldn't have any voltage in the ground. You should have good... Uh, you should have good... You uh, should have good 5 volt ref. That valve cover is warm. Interesting. My TPS is reading three tenths at closed throttle and at wide open. And it moved on me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. There's half a volt. That's what we should see around half a volt. I think I got some weird connection issues. Maybe I'm, I might have to adjust my terminals inside that um, that pin. 
those pins might be getting spread or something. I should probably use a little bit smaller needle, but over four volts, as long as the computer sees that it, it assumes wide open throttle 100%. Um, when you do this, you shouldn't see it drop out. I'm moving it very slowly so the meter can see it. This is best on the oscilloscope. Six tenths, it's about what it should be. We'll move it up here slowly as I can. Wide open, four volts is what you should see. That's a good known, known good. Um, it should, you shouldn't have it drop out. If you see a drop out, you got a bad sensor. A little technical issues there, but that's how to do it.